lane dominance, Lash is also a lane dominant. Even though after the nerf, I still think Lash is really good at winning the lane. And, and this is a hero that can actually be a, a very... Um, Barely well, able to escape. He might get cut off. I don't know if he makes it out of here. He does salve up. Oh, he's got a lot of bearable as well. Oh, that call is gonna hurt. EGM spin to win for Milliden. Oh, what was that? Bambo oh, just basically got him killed with those spiderlings. What was that all about anyway? Why, is, why was he putting himself in such a dangerous position? <sighs> I'm not sure. I feel like he still could have gotten out though if the spiderlings weren't there. Um, I think they were they, they counting wanted, on the heal bomb. Yeah, to they turn wanted it. to kill. That was the thing. Like when, but <laughs> but Eladin had other ideas with the spin. Uh oh, mid lane, big charge on the hook. This is why I I three man. Eladin, dragging back in all the spiderlings. So happy with all the spiderlings. This is Getting such a nice start for the axe. Already tranquil boot. He's actually naked. I don't, nobody wants to look at this naked Dazzle, man. That no, he, thing is he, he has, gross. Yes, nine hundred. Put though. some clothes on. Oh, you're talking some about boots, Dazzle. maybe. EGM, Donnie, you know Bamboo. Oh, sorry, EGM. I was like, what? Boot is not naked. Boot no, I, yeah, I meant the Dazzle. Like, boot has nine hundred gold. So there was a ch charge on the mid lane. They get a kill there on the razor, but the counter kill happens to Spear Breaker. Now VP diving on EGM. Literally defenseless. No TP. He's called. Maybe the neutrals will have mercy on his soul. Because Lord knows Illidan won't. No, even that. Not allowed. Bambo just is going to be coming on to Bambo here. He doesn't have Dust. Now they've got the vision. Dust is there. He probably gets the solo kill. One more spin. If not, the backup arrives. And done. Illidan with the oh, quick decapitation. And kill the hero. I X can actually do both of those things. Tide Hunter, you can kill the spider. Oh, the dear Pie Cat. Could be in danger. The fissure comes out. They are tanky pulse Nova damage though. This is two melee heroes. He gets the two heroes. So then the heal comes in from EGM. What a turnaround by Pycat. Massive plays. He expected him to move left. That's why he had the funny wave left. He's got those sexy moves. <laughs> Bambo. Oh, splinter by. There's the charge. Follow up comes from the duck. Now they curse him as well with the call. Even the spider lane. They're devouring Mama. <laughs> More Illidan massacres all but the two last survivors. Here comes the backup. Well, will it be enough though? Illidan very tanky. They get off the charge on equally catching the cheese. Yeah, just for good measure. Measure another bad. Quick dunk, and now he can run away. Illidan looks to get out of position. Oh, the call! I, I thought he was gonna get jumped, but Illidan did oh. not have the mana. I think Midas is good because he's behind. He needs to catch up to the start. Galloping onto the top lane. FNG. He jam. He does manage to self grave. Oh, tries for the TP out. There's no Winter's Curse for three seconds. There is an Echo. Doesn't need it. In the bounty room. Now we can jump in and look hey, for no more. No one died. Nobody's dead yet. No one's died. But G is gonna change that real quick. Oh, the sleep on the Spirit Breaker. Not the free to pay. And will end up going down. Nikwa now being pursued out. Slow is there, and Niqua buys his TP. That's all he's gonna get, it looks like. And the best part is, they're doing this without the axe, who just sits bottom. No, doing the future fights as well because they have much more like AoE damage with the Queen and the Earthshaker. Whereas four clover heroes are relying on the left to do all the AoE damage. Their heroes are more single target focused. They're gonna pick up four balls here. Winter, what's wrong with me? <laughs> to your defense, we saw a Viper yesterday. <laughs> yeah, I saw him yesterday. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for the bailout, buddy. I appreciate it. A little help from a friend at a time of need. They're gonna engage on the hook. The charge comes through. G. Doug's gonna have the ult for three seconds, so he's gonna try to bait them back as Broodwalk looks to get involved, but that means Illidan looks to get involved. And Illidan's the one that you don't want getting involved. They're all gonna run down the river. Radiant team about to get vision of four heroes. Illidan, where's that big blink call? Oh, the spider lanes have surrounded G. He then gets ripped in the middle of them. He needs a little backup here. The spider lanes will help secure the kill. Well played by Bambo. Parking a look, few spider look at these spiders. Oh my god, like every 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 entrance to the jungle. Oh no! Oh, and a big grab on Sexy Bambo, looking for the chop, he's got the vision up for the charge, the quad bolts there. And not dead just yet, Illidan getting juked a little bit. Oh, the pass! The bat, the follow-up dunk, and now EGM, he's dunk number two. Boom, boom, looking for the bam now, diving on the Nikro, the triple chop. No, he oh, won the four he kills, he he down. he's going deep for the Disco Pony, also oh, KO this oh, time by oh, uh, we do see Berserker's Wait, call cooldown out. What, what happens good. if you dunk someone? Do you like get super life gain? Oh, no. <laughs> I, I don't know actually. I'm not sure how that works. Uh, dunk! Oh! <laughs> see ya! It would also be good to reduce the uh, the cooldown on Berserker's call, which is quite quite low at that point, but yeah. Lil will get gripped. Literally the Axis Black Hole. Desire's middle time. Slightly hole. lower cooldown. Support so, so enemy is tough to throw off though. Well, that's one way to cancel a charge. 
Just face sleeping, but Illidan's gonna leap forward. He doesn't care. You try to stop my Spirit Breaker, I'm gonna have to say something to you about it. Aqua continues to be slowed by the Arctic Bird. Good, just for good measure. Not bad. And chop. And let's go for more. Another charge, FNG. Committed dive here coming out. Blake Call back on two. Illidan continues to slaughter all in his way. That's another chop. Well deserved. And zero and three on the angry red. <laughs> Hi, God. Almost no, caught out. Oh, here. no. Sorry, I'm on cooldown. You're going to get caught here by Bambo, but blink up in one second. There's the Wyvern save, and now the charge. Oh, no. This da, 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 da. He might be dead. Yeah. Yeah. Stuff comes out. Curse not available for a second, but it's just not happening for Bambo. Okay. Go down as well. They're jungle with the Spiderling army, but the way the game's developed, that doesn't seem like an option. G jumping in. He gets the sound off of Nikola, but he's supposed to be tanky. They're going to need a plus one here. That comes in the form of a Phobo Fissure, and then FNG will be there to secure the kill. Bashing him almost over the Fissure. Gets off the brain set just in time for Mr. Illidan to collect. And so good. And the cooldown's so low at this point with the scepter that even if you miss, it's no big deal. They're gonna charge Bambo though. Bashing him once. It's good. And I mean what does he do? You gotta make some Okay. It's like the first game that three Bridge has ever built a mech in an official game. First game ever. It was them fighting words, then he stacks, man, but we'll see. He's FNG charges in quite far. He may be punished for this. Okay, Illidan follows this one up, looks to bring down Pycat. He's got the dunk ready and should be able to get it now, but he's gripped. He can't cast it. Pycat running circles around him, and Illidan almost drops to this level of aggression on the backside of the fight. Phobos again, he's a two for one thus far. And then in the end, G will be the man slept. They've lost their axe that ends up beyond godlike streak. 1150 gold down. Phobos, though, uh, at least get some vengeance, killing off Hook. But finally, the mech, assuming this is a mech, has been built on Spearbreaker. Yeah, yes, I came with So it's technically the first game, right? First real game. And the, the only other time that it happened was in the MLG Columbus qualifiers, which was in 2013. Memories. And there was no god in Greece at that time. So <laughs> Lotus gets off the fissure, turns on Nikwa, starts clubbing him. Needs stack up though and isn't gonna have it, so he'll sacrifice the wyvern. Lil Hardy down and back to the draw. There's only been an orchid. I guess he just wants it for the team purposes then. Here we go. Team Bambo. Bambo. G patiently was stalking him. He got mission just for a moment when he cast spawn Spiderling. Now the dust comes out. You don't even need the ultimate. And another gr another kill here. Right now, even though they just got a key pick up on the axe, which gave the pain what 1,000 gold. Uh, there's a charge towards top. Hi, cat. Oh, well, they'll be able to bring him down solo. Uh, he dunks the creep, dunks the creep for, the for the move speed, and now he's hunted. He's got another call available. The spear breaker arrives. Hi, cat about to be in dunk land, and yeah, welcome. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Battle Fury Axe. <laughs> you win. Honestly, I think he could buy one and they'd probably still have a good chance to win this. Or not. Here we go. Call on to two. EGM, you'll be the first one down. Oh, you're coming, you're coming next. They have better way. Queen of Pain almost engaged. Now Illidan looking for opening. Oh, the double hero charge after the Witch Wyvern curse. Split triple F3 work. No. Oh, oh, triple. Oh, Give this man the quadruple dunk. Oh, He's out of mana. If no chance to deny. Ah, uh, Illidan. He runs out of gas, but VP, they surge forward, smashing 4CL, who unfortunately were lacking their drafter, Soxka, today, will ultimately drop this game, and with it, drop out of the Summit 4. Why you never, you know, travel on a ship that has no captain? Well, sometimes the ship's leaving. You either hop aboard, or you get left behind on shore. Unfortunately, the ship was steered into the shoals.